creating new items. Uh, now the um, <coughs> creating new items. Now in the um, command line in Windows, it's kind of difficult to create empty files. It's not really difficult. It's just not an intuitive kind of command. So for example, if I want to create a command, or excuse me, create a file, an empty file in my D drive uh, in, here in Windows, I would do it like this. Copy, con, you don't have to worry about how to do this, by the way. Uh, D, and then uh, I'll make something up, Fred. I'll just call it fred.txt. Uh, and it goes blank, and I now I, I hold down the Control key and I click Z. And it says one file copied. And so fred.txt is indeed now in my, uh, on my D drive, on the root of my D drive. Well, that's kind of, uh, you know, not, not real easy to do. Now I can make a directory a little bit easier. mkdir, and I'll call it uh, charlie, well, then put, let's put it in D, D charlie, and that, does it makes a directory real easily. So as a matter of fact, let's do a dir of my d, and we should be able to find Charlie here. Well, here's Fred. Here's Fred.txt, and here is Charlie the directory. So I just created those. Um, however, in PowerShell, it's a little bit easier. We use the new item command, and we use it for both of those functions. So let's go over here to uh, a PowerShell. I'll say new item, and the path parameter is how where I tell it where I'm going to put it. All right, so D, and then what I want to call it is the name parameter. So I'll call this one um, Bob. I'll make it all small just for fun, bob.txt, and there it is, and I created my bob.txt. Uh, now, if I wanted to make this a directory, let's do the same thing, except I will also say item type, and I will make the item type a directory, like that, and instead of bob, I will just call this Jim like that, and now I've made a directory called Jim. Now, I know that this seems awfully big and long compared to a simple thing like MKDIR, but when you think about it, it is so systematic that it makes it almost easier. And many people find that as they begin to learn PowerShell, they go, oh man, these commands are so long just to do something simple. But the functionality is tremendous, the flexibility is tremendous, and after you kind of begin to get an idea of the the system that you they have in place, you got uh, a commandlet, uh, and then the parameter, and then the argument, parameter, argument, parameter, argument. It actually becomes very very simple and isn't quite so bad. And once you start using aliases, of course, you'll find that these are even faster.